I'm good to go. I'm cleaning the place where the cows stand when they are feeding. Uh, I know many farmers like to mix disinfectant with water to do the cleaning. Mm. That medically sounds right, mm. but uh, when you are keeping cattle, it's what we call the microorganisms which are naturally occurring mm. in the cows. So the microorganisms which are naturally occurring in this cow dung are not dangerous for the cows. So when we suppress them with antiseptics, then the other microorganisms which don't naturally occur in cow dung take over. And those ones are more dangerous. So what we do on Shemeza farmers, Shemeza breeders, we just wash with water. Uh, we don't harass the cow dung to go away because we believe that is part of the ecosystem of the cows. The microorganisms in the cow dung are not dangerous to the cows. So we don't fight them aggressively because for them they fight the outside bacteria. So we minimize, we just clean, we try to clean, but we don't fight the, the microorganisms. So we just pour water without scrubbing and doing all the parts of uh, these microorganisms. As you can also see, uh, our flow, there are two types of flows we have. We put the hard maram and then the concrete. The reason I put concrete on that side and even in those areas, because that's where the cows feed from, sand, urinate, so it gets a bit too soggy. But concrete is not friendly to the hooves. Uh, but because it's an intensive farming system, I have no alternative. So the places where they must stand and feed and urinate for a long time, we put concrete. Like that's why we spread from and all that. But we leave some natural ground. Ideally, this is also not very ideal because this should be grass and soft ground. But at least a compromise for ease of cooking. Put maram. This maram every uh, one to two months. We bring new maram and feed in the pot. But at least it gives them the alternative where to stand, where to sit. As you can see, these two cows would have chosen to sit where the concrete is. But they've chosen where the maram is. Because for them, they know what they're looking for. They're looking for warmth, they're looking for comfort. Sometimes some of them will sit on the, on the concrete, but at, at many times they usually choose to sit on this ground because it's more natural. And it's not very difficult to clean. Uh, again, when you take away that element of wanting to flush with water and scrub with the brushes, you realize that it's more advantageous to have this ground is more friendly to the cow hooves than the concrete. So we don't have a lot of concrete just in the feeding pens, that's where the concrete is. The water troughs, that's where the concrete is. But then the other ground may look uneven, may look uh, dusty, may look muddy, but it's fine because that, is, that mimics the natural environment. And because of that, we don't have a lot. Actually, we've not had any hoof issues, any issues with hooves, we've not had any issues with mastitis. As you can see, this cow is sitting, it's other. You will say this is dirty, but it's not dirty because it is natural. The microorganisms are uh, in this ground where the cows urinate, where the cows defecate, is natural. It is part of the ecosystem and therefore it's not dangerous. But when you fight these microorganisms which are dangerous, which are friendly to the animal, then the ones which are unfriendly take over and therefore cause lots of problems. Uh, you also want to see our.